What's up, my man Gotti? How you been, brother? I've been all right, man. Bless, bless. Ask me. So, those who are tuning in to Unapologetic, man, welcome back. Y'all hear my voice, but today is all about what we got in front of us today. Um, we have my man, aka Jonathan, aka Gotti. So, but what he is coming to us today, man, I have no doubt that it's going to take off. And so, and it's just like, man, when I first tried it, it was delicious. It was just, just something that I never tried, never thought about trying until I hollered at you I was reading your page on Facebook and man I said man let me let me let me tap into this real quick and so can you tell us tell well I already know can you tell the viewers what it is that you just magically created out of your you know your kitchen pretty much <laughs> Urban Ice Cream LLC. And what I do is, um, I came up with this idea back in 2019. It was actually my Lyft driver. And he was talking about, you know, <clears throat> um, the edibles, the edible arrangements he makes and how to produce the butter and things like that. And he basically gave me his phone number and I called him and he showed me how to infuse and showed me how to make the butter and things like that. And, what my mindset is, it's like, okay, what do they have and what don't they have? And so what I decided was, okay, there's no ice cream. They have edible um, gummy bears. They have, you know, cookies. They have brownies. They don't have ice cream. So my mindset is thinking, how can I control the market? Everybody was getting into the edible scenery and the cannabinoids and the CBD and different things like that. So I'm like, okay. What I need to do is I need to figure out how to make it. So I experimented with the way he showed me how to make it and I upgraded from there. I gave it a couple of test tries and right, right. people and they love the product. They said they could eat the ice cream, you know, by themselves. <laughs> Pretty much I have all type of flavors. This is what it is. This is the size cups it comes in with the urban ice label on there. And what I have here is butter pecan. Brown butter pecan at that, and I also have cookies. And brown cream. butter pecan. Yeah, what's what's the yeah. di what, what's brown butter pecan? Brown what's the butter make pecan. difference, bro? You didn't tell me that. Of the butter pecan. That's what gives me my recipe. You know what? Oh, okay. The way it tastes. You know the, the 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 elegance of the ice cream itself. You know I make everything from scratch. Um, I don't use whole milk. I use almond milk. You know, there's different things that I do. Oh, so that was for the lactose intolerant people. Okay, so you, so so you go into the health, the health way too, man. Okay, that, that's love right there. So what I do is I infuse the THC. Um, I make my product. I use my own recipes and things like that. And you have urban ice, and it's not just you know ice cream. I'm also getting into it with the the slushies. Um, anything you can think of that deals with ice, that's the brand. That's Urban Ice. And right, right, right. Products, um, you'll have your THC, you'll have your THC plus CBD mixture, and you'll also have just the CBD. And that's what I'm bringing to the table. Urban Ice to the world. You know, something that no one experienced ever before. Now, you've experienced it, and I know you love the taste. I, I mean, I, I, man, the taste was... When I first tried it, man, it was just like, you know, I tasted the butter pecan. And then, you know, it just, it's a thick, rich flavor. So, and then it's just smooth. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. I might, I might, I might need to take a couple of these to the crib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, like you were saying, these cups right here, these are four ounce cups. Um, they're twenty five dollars a piece. You know, I'm coming with bigger sizes, pint size. Now, why are they twenty five a piece? Why? Because of the THC potency in that. In this cup here alone, you have uh, one hundred and sixty milligrams of pure THC. 
Now I can also do and mix, you know, the different cannabinoids, the CBD, and things like that. But this cup right here will run you twenty five dollars. You know, and like I said, I'm coming with bigger sizes. I'm gonna have, you know, fifty dollar cups and eighty dollar cups and things like that. But this is just to introduce it to the world. Do you have um do you have any small milligrams for like you say the ladies, you know? That doesn't want to... That go to my $15 cup, which is a two-ounce cup, which is really all you pretty much need to indulge in. But, you know, some people want to eat some, put it up, save it for later, however you want to do it. it right, right, right. And different potency for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this right here, that's the bigger cup. That's the $25. Then you have also the two-ounce cup, which is $15. You know, and like I said, I've been doing this since 2019. I got good reviews. Um, the public likes it. I mean, it gets you where you need to be, you know, on a, on a proper level. You're not getting too much. You're not getting too less. You're right where you need to be. It's a, it's a mellow way. Ooh. You know, so. Man. I encourage people to support what I have going on. And like I said, you know, this is a black owned business. This is my idea. This I am the ice cream man. I'm the one that came up with this. So man, you, you for those that don't know I I, I suggest <laughs> get in tune with the new way because the ice cream truck okay. is coming, the, the shop is coming, you know, all, all the things is in the making right now what I'm speaking of, you know, because it's that's gonna happen. So it's going to happen. It's there. You know, urban ice, remember that name. Okay, so Take me back, like, to the beginning, man. Like, like a little bit to where did, like, the font, like, where did this originally come from? Like I was saying, it came from the Uber driver. I was, I was, my transportation was there. So this is, this is not like, a, so an Uber driver literally gave you this he idea. Gave, he gave me the recipe. I get. I guess you're right, people, man. Think ideas just happen in the spur of the moment, man. Okay, what don't they have? They have right. all this, but how can I, you know, get into the game of, you know, the cannabis industry and what can I produce and come up with that don't nobody else have? And that's when I'm like, okay, I can infuse cookies, brownies, and things like that using the same butter, but. Actually, I I wanted to get into something that don't nobody else. Right, had. right. That's when I, you know, test tried it and came up with different methods on how to infuse and things like that and how to really, you know, get it to where the people really like it. Like it was times where you know certain strands of marijuana I was using wasn't the strongest particular, you know, the, the strands that was actually getting people messed up. So it was more so like a trial and error. I had to figure that aspect out of it. And then, you know, the other methods on how to infuse and really get right. the flavors and everything together, which I got plenty of flavors. I got strawberry, chocolate, cookies and cream, butter pecan. <laughs> Man. I got, I got Reese's. I'm trying to be like, you know, a, the new Baskin Robbins. I want you to be able to come in my shop sit down, pick out what flavors you want with, infuse cones, and, you know, sit back and enjoy something that's playing on the TV, the music, the scenery, and enjoy and indulge and have a safe place where you can relax and kick back and enjoy your ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. <laughs> you know? So that's, what I, that's my focus. And to see the, the trucks pulling up with whatever theme song I decide I want to play, you know, they pulling up and I want adults running out of after my trucks. Like, hey, stop that truck. I need some of that ice cream. <laughs> that's that's the level it's supposed to get to. So. Man, that's beautiful, man. That's, that's what, beautiful. That's, that's what's in the making right now. Man, so this is what? This is just all you? There's nobody? This is it's all me, my wife, of course, and my kids. This is something that oh. I want to revenue and generate generational wealth. So I can mm. pass the company and business on down on my kids, you know, so it's a family business. Man, that's, that's something that, you know, we don't really hear nowadays. And as far as us being, you know, young black entrepreneurs, I mean, we don't have the big buildings, the high tech things and stuff yet, but what we do have, we need to utilize. And I feel like, man, you taking that to the whole you know, you're making a blueprint out of it. That's what, you know, and then... And that's, what, that's, that's mainly what life is. 
life is about, you know? Right. These moments that we have right right now, you know? You got to cherish these moments and you got to have the right mindset. You got to be able to use what God gave you, the tools he gives you, you know, and cherish these moments and come up with something that'll change your surroundings, your environment, your family's life, you know, forever. And that's the whole purpose of the Urban Nights is to bring, introduce something new to the world, something that's legal something you know people that can enjoy and you know just the flavors alone and the taste and the texture of the ice cream alone people enjoy you know if you want to have a virgin you know urban ice we have that as well virgin we got cbd we got thc however you want it we got if you want a mixture of them we got that so that's the urban ice you know the urban ice state of mind and i am the ceo <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, man. I, I should have came to the to the attire, man. I I wish you would have called me and told me this, man. Got me, man. I I love the fit, man, from the head to the toe. You really do come with that. I'm ready with the people, man. I, I appreciate that. I love that. Uh, but I have to ask though, man. I'm how how big do you want it? Do you want to get this brand, man? Because some people say a leg, you know, people can be like, I want to say, uh, Jeff Bezo. And people be straight with just being, you know, a Lil Wayne or somebody, you know. Oh. Okay. 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 I want it to be a legacy. I want it to be passed down. Like my kids, 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 something they can stand on. Like, you know, this is urbanized. You know, I, I'm proud to be a Billingsley. You get what I'm saying? Like my name means something. You know, I, my name is power. You get what I'm saying? I want that to be my legacy. What I leave behind for uh, my kids, kids. You know what I'm right. saying? My kids. That's, that, that's, that's love right there. That's I'm love. That's love. It, it, it's gonna go, you know. So, uh, are you are you gonna give back, you know, to the community and stuff? You know, I mean, I'm a very charitable type of person, you know, and I'm the type that doesn't change up. You know, when I get to the money, I'm the type that, uh, you know, right now get it <laughs> off my back to the homeless or whatever. So I'm definitely gonna. You know, bring that to the community and charitable events and things like that because it ain't nothing but a dollar. But if I can get to where I need to be, where I can share that dollar, most definitely, that's the type of mindset I have, the type of heart I have. You know, man, that's man. You you sound you sound very passionate about it, man. And that's what I like about it, and what brought me in to you know find out more about this situation. You know about your your business plan, your platform, your ideas, and uh, um, I see that a lot of people in our generation aren't really, you know, catching this. And if they are catching it, they say they're doing good. Shout out to who all that are really, you know, making it happen out there. I feel some of them get too big headed. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like what? If they are, let me put it like this, if they are uh, feeling themselves a little too much, what would you tell them, you know, as because you seem like you have been around the block a few times, you know, in life, as they say, you know, we all have, you know, that that one time where that haymaker just catches you. And so it's like you want to tell them, like, man, congratulations, keep going. But, you know, stay Stay humble, you know, <laughs> not stay in your lane, but uh, stay true to uh, to your craft and to yourself and to your people. So what I would tell someone like that, you know, keep doing what you're doing, but just remember where you came from, you know, remain humble. You know, like I've been in certain situations where I step in the room and, you know, it's a lot of people, oh, the ice cream man is here, and this, that, and the third. And, right. You know, I don't, I don't let that, that type of power, because it's power that comes behind money. I don't let that really get to me. You know what I'm saying? I remain humble. You know, I'm the same person that, you know, didn't have, you know, this billion dollar idea or, you know, right. went to Job Corps and, you know, 
been in the hood, been on the block, and seen the struggle for real. So it's like when you finally get to the status of, of, of wealth, you don't want to forget where you came from. You want to be able to share back and give back to the community where other young brothers can actually get to the level you want. You know, I want the people that's in my circle to all be even. You get what I'm saying? Everybody got a position. Everybody got a role to play. And everybody should be eating the same way. You know, everybody got different roles and everybody got different positions. But everybody right. should be in a position where, you know, they in success. You know, they got the, the things that they need and desire and things like that. So what I would tell them, just remain humble because I'm definitely grateful and humble and I cherish, you know, every moment that I have right now. Because right. I'm grateful to even be having this interview right now, even though it was supposed to been, you know, um, last week Friday, I couldn't make it because yeah, you had I that incident. Wounded. Yeah, you had that incident, man. Wounded. And I'm just blessed to be able to just still be able to have this and be on camera and uh, you know be able to use my words and limbs and things like <laughs> that because I was just you know could have had a fatal uh, tragedy almost you know just last week you know and I'm still here and I'm grateful you know so. When I get to that level, I'm most definitely going to be grateful and cherish the moments and humble as I can be, you know, and that's what I would tell the next man. Man, well, brother, we appreciate you, man. I, I do. Uh, man, do you have anything you want to tell, you know, to the viewers where they can go find you, your page or anything, Instagram, anything? Okay, well, as far as that, you can reach out on my Facebook. I do have an Instagram page, Urbanize, Urbanize Cream, LLC, and that should be on my Instagram. You can go on there and find me, and from there, I can reach out to you. If you need anything delivered, shipped, anything like that, I can get it to you. Um, my website will be coming up soon, where you can actually purchase the CBD aspect of it, and from there on, when I upgrade to the certain levels I need to be on with licenses and things like that as far as the THC, considering it's not legal in all 50 states, you know, then there will be a website for that as well. So, you know, you can reach me on Instagram. Um, you can go to my Facebook page, which should be linked to my Instagram. So, yeah, there's definitely ways you can get in contact with me and do unapologetic. Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know we're going to broadcast it and keep it moving. Uh, thank you, brother, for allowing us to come to, you know, man, you just killing it elegantly right now, man, with the, with the, I love the piano, man, this is beautiful, and like, like us, like a brother to another, man, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that you should lift off like the rocket that I know you for the ride on, man, I really do. Just remember that now you will be saying the Urban Nice, maybe different labels and everything. Of course it's going to be different, but you will see that name in the stores coming to you, coming near you as soon as possible. It's coming. Urban Nice, baby. Unapologetic, number one podcast. We're going to catch y'all on another flip with Gotti, man. We're going to pick it up with him later on. But uh, make sure y'all stay tuned in and make sure y'all under, uh, go and listen to Unapologetic Hashtag Number One Podcast on Spotify and all the listening platforms and also the YouTube channel, which this will be on. So, oh, yeah.